Hello, I'm Blue Mama here. My name is Dina, and today I'm doing the Fun Chooses My Makeup Woman Hair Collab. It was paired up with Nancy from Getting Ready with Nancy, and she picked out some awesome shades for me. So, if my base looks a little funky, it didn't turn out quite how I wanted. It's because I'm trying out um, new products. Everything I have on right now is new. From the primer, the foundation, the concealer. No, the concealer is the only thing that is it now. The foundation, the primer, the powder. The powder's where I went wrong. The bronzer, the blush, the highlight, the brows. Um, so, concealer and eye primer is the only thing that's not new that I'm wearing at the moment. And on it so far. The foundation I really like though. But I gotta try it more to make sure that I actually like it. So so for this week I did two options. I did a where I made my own palette. So this is the palette that I sent her that I made myself with shades I had. And then I sent her an Ace Beauté palette as well and she chose this palette and she chose this shade right here by Dominic Cosmetics it was in the Celestial Storm and this is Electric Amethyst and then she chose this shade which is a ColourPop from the Enchanted palette and it is Spellcaster and then she chose this one that is also ColourPop and it is from the Fine Feathered Palette, and it is Hen Party, right here. So, she chose this shade right here. That is actually an LA Colors Loose Pigment that I pressed. I wanted to see how they worked pressed because, well, it's easier to use that way. Less messy. And I also liked how they turned out, or I liked how this one turned out, so I put it in here. And then she also chose this pink shade right here and this is one that I actually made completely myself I had did on, done an order on TKB trading for some um, eyeshadow base um, press it mix um, oh, I cannot think of the name at the moment the stuff that makes it last longer preservative and then also a few pigments not a whole lot because Everything adds up pretty quick, and that is one of the shades right there that I made. I also made this shade right here, and and this shade right here. So this one and this one I also made, but this is the one we are using today, and it is super pretty. So let's jump on into the look and see what I can create. So I'm also testing some brushes that I got from Amazon. This is two sets that I just combined in one so I can kind of work with them and try them out. So this is a firm blender brush, apparently. I don't know. I'm going to start with the little color pop shade um, from the Fine Feathered palette. I don't remember what it was called. I don't want to pick it back up. I'm just going to put that down in my crease we're good he has enough the dog that we adopted back in December has a issue where he just licks himself until he's like soaked that's why I'm constantly telling him to stop Cause I don't want him to lift himself until he like starts losing hair and stuff which might be he has some scarring on his elbows and from like laying in like a concrete or the ground too much and so I'm wondering if you know that's just not like the life he's used to it's not having anything to do I hope we didn't take his bone outside and just leave it. 
I got them three bones, and I'm pretty sure they're all out in our backyard. They're like the bones that come like filled with stuff, but they just kind of like look out. And I'm pretty sure he's taking them all outside and just left them. He's a silly boy. I'm sort of using the other matte shade to kind of darken up a little bit. Add a little of that hint pin over here. Is the idea. And add a little bit of this. I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> I can't decide. I I'm just going to take all those left and put it right here just to give the swimmers a little base. I'm going to take that one. There we go. And I'll put it that. And then I am going to try to use a brush. I'm taking the LA colors loose pigment that I pressed and you can see it goes into that a little bit on the brush so I don't know if maybe you can see I don't know if you can see it was worth a shot and it picks up better than some of my other shimmers did the positive yeah I think it's just better I'm going to use that shade, then I'm going to the Dominic Cosmetics one. And this one is gorgeous. I'm just going to blend those right on the edge together. And then this pink shade that I made. Let's show you this swatch real quick. I don't know if you can see the sparkle, and then it's got like it is super sparkly. Yeah, stunning. I was very proud of how it turned out. In the inner corner to the lighter shade, and then I'll get a clean little brush so I can blend it out a little bit. And I don't know if anybody else does this, but I like taking my inner corner shade and just kind of blending it up a little bit. Find a thinner brush. Yeah, this is for eyebrows, but I like using the brow brushes to go under my um, lower lid that thing. <laughs> so, taking the darker shade first and starting across. Connect it all. And then I'm going to take the lighter shade and do the other half.
little bit of this pinch and then I just kind of add it to the bottom. Some of that dot make, and I want to make sure I got real close to the last line because I can't tell it. Sometimes it looks like it's not, and then other times it looks like it is. So I just want to make sure. Let's see if I can do a tiny bit more blending real quick. Soften this edge up a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of this pink shimmer and just kind of sparkle up all of that just because I can. And seriously, if I had it the only reason, I just want this shimmer everywhere. Wow. I'm going to add a little bit more of that darker shimmer. Just because I want to make sure that you can still see it. And then I have to get my little fold out. And there we go. Alright, I'm going to go off and do the other eye and I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. This is really making my eyes look bright. And I love it. So, let me know. What do you think of this eye look? What do you think it turned out? I'm trying out a new mascara. I like it. It's, it's an expensive one. Luckily, I didn't have to pay the price for it, but I don't know. I need to keep playing with it. I need to keep trying it. Um, let's see. I use my normal Mally eyeliner. Um, on the lips, I took my Appeal Muse gel liner, and then I took this Copacetic gloss in Tinder and Lovely. And it was way too light with just those two, so then I took, uh, I just grabbed this uh, gloss that I got from um, TKB Trading. It was um, a free gift for ordering and I just took that to kind of brighten it up a little bit so it went more with the look. So, I love how the look turned out. I really like how it's making my eyes look like super bright. <laughs> so, let me know down below what you think. Make sure you go check out all the other ladies. Go see what colors I chose for Nancy. 
and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much. Bye.